Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer. Today I'm gonna to show you how to write a military award using AI. Are you watching the right video? Well, are you interested in expanding your AI chatbot capabilities by feeding it examples? Or would you like to use AI to help you write a military award? Then yes. Questions answered in this video. How to use examples to get an AI model to write anything. In this case, a military award. Also, how to use AI to generate an award recommendation. Finally, we'll end with the most important question, why should you care? Let's jump right in. Use AI to complete an Army award recommendation. Those look like this. We're gonna take this and make it look like this using this. <laughs> a little bit of AI magic. It so. Here's what we're gonna do. This is the blank section that we gotta fill out. Achievements one, two, three, and four, and the proposed citation. So achievements one through four, and the proposed citation. So achievement narratives and citation narrative. Go from this to this. And we're gonna use examples, a list of the soldier's achievements, a prompt, and magic. Let's jump in. All right, so here we are at Claude. We're using Claude because of its 200,000 token context window. So we could feed it a book and it would be able to understand that while we talk to it and ask it questions and it wouldn't, wouldn't run out of the ability to help us. So it's got a very large context window. We can feed it a bunch of stuff. We can have a lot of conversations. And oh, by the way, Claude is one of the best models out right now, even the free version, um, which I'm using Opus and that's only because I've run out of free answers uh, during testing before this video. All right, so we're not using Sonnet, we're using Opus, but they both perform, they've both done what I'm about to show you at the same level. All right, number one, references always come first, instructions come last. We know this will increase the likelihood that we get better results. I wanna show you quickly before we start uh, what I mean by examples. So I provided it a number of citation narrative examples, and as we know, Quality over quantity. Um, so I've grabbed some of the best examples of previously written award citation narratives, and they're right here. I've also provided a grouping of achievement narratives, and those are right here. I'm gonna download those and upload those to Claude, and so you'll see those in a minute. I wanna spend a moment talking about the soldier's achievement, the list of soldiers, the list of the soldier's achievements what we're writing the award for. Uh, what you see here is a kind of an organized, not a narrative, but, but bullet lists of an explanation of what the soldier did. This is more organized than what you need to provide is what I wanna drive home here. Provide poop and the model will turn it into prose. Um, however you can get the ideas out of your head and into the document, that's the way you should do it. It is gonna take your information, it's gonna synthesize it, it's gonna provide the transitions, the expositions. Um, so I just didn't want my styling to detract from the big takeaway here, which is just get the information in a document, get the document to the model, and you will have your award written. Uh, I'm gonna drive this home with a quick example here. So for me, I write the quickest by voice typing. But as you know, when you voice type stuff, it, it can tend to look kind of like garbage because um, it just does. But this is not a limitation with the model. Um, so what I'm gonna show you here is my phone with the same Google Doc open. And if I was gonna write this award, the next award I write is gonna be written like this. Captain America did an incredible job as the M16 qualification range OIC, period. He ensured that enough ammo was requested before range day. He also ensured that all the range NCOICs were qualified well in advance. He had a backup rain delay plan. The range went hot on time at 08. He thought ahead well ahead of time and ensured there was water and food at the range and Everyone at the range qualified during range day activities, period. It could turn this into a ward. Uh, certainly I would wanna add a little more, um, but ultimately faster typing, faster capturing, throw it into the model and you got your award. And so we're gonna show you how to do that now. 
we're going to upload the three examples that I've been talking about. I'm sorry, the two examples, and then, of course, this, the list of the soldier's achievements, um, which is what I just talked about and explain with the voice typing uh, example there. So example achievement narratives. So there's one example, set of examples. Example citation narratives, and then the soldier's specific achievements. Those are uploaded, as you can see right here. And now we're going to move to the prompt. All right, so I've got five rules. I've got videos explaining those five rules below. But in short, start simple, be specific. Provide context, so persona, audience, and output. That's the PAO acronym that I use. Be organized, chunk tasks, and provide examples. I'm going to do every single one of those here. Um, so... Start simple and be specific. Hopefully you'll see that throughout this prompt. Uh, provide context, that's what we're doing here. Uh, and this header, and this header, and the rest of these headers all help us be organized. And by being organized, it ensures that we don't forget anything. Now I'm gonna show you the context that I provided. Assume the persona of an Ohio Army National Guard Lieutenant Colonel named Josh Evilsizer, who must write an award for a deserving soldier. Pause. There's the persona. I'm kind of skipping audience, and I'll explain that in a minute, and then we're moving right to output. Written in accordance with Army Regulation 600-8-22. So this is the output in accordance with this Army Regulation, and of course some other additional references we're going to give it below. Uh, you could also argue that someone educated in this Army Regulation could be the audience, so we haven't completely foregone the audience, but ultimately PAO, Persona, Audience, and Output, as required. References. I have beat these up. I have beat these to death. Uh, there they are. Those are included. One, two, and three up here. Instructions. All right. Your role is to complete the steps as listed below. And you can see here we have chunked tasks. Uh, so we have written these tasks in the order they will be con conducted or executed by the model. Um, and they're done in an organized fashion. So again, following all the rules. So what's this first one say? Review the example achievement narratives, so the example achievement narratives up here, to understand writing style and tone only. And that's all you got to say. There's not much more to it than that. Some people will just take this to an extreme length. That's all I'm using, and the model's smart enough, it works. Um, being careful not to extract any specific details from these anonymized example achievement narratives, as they're only an example. And that sentence is there for a reason. Don't grab the examples. Just get use the soldier's achievements that I've given you. Review the example citation narrative. So this is that last paragraph. This first one was talking about the four, four narratives. Now we're talking about the citation at the, at the end. To understand writing style and tone only. The same thing again. Um, being careful not to extract any specific details from these anonymized example citation narratives as they are only an example. I am being empathetic to the model. I'm walking it step by step, being crystal clear about each reference, what it's supposed to do with the reference. I use the exact name of the reference as it is named in the reference and as the same file name, achievement citations, there we go. Everything matches. The model doesn't have to guess at anything. Um, so just be empathetic for the model, treat it like a human, and it's gonna give you good results. Review the soldier's specific achievements to understand the soldier's name, unit, and what the soldier has done to merit the award. And that information, again, is included in the specific achievements document that I've uploaded. Number four, using the soldier's specific achievements, write four achievement narrative paragraphs. Each narrative paragraph should not exceed 525 characters. Now, why didn't I use words? It doesn't do great at either one of these, but character seems to work best. Uh, so we'll see how it does today. Last step. Write a citation narrative that one, pause, I'm getting even more organized, right? I've got these bullet points are keeping me organized to chunk these tasks. And now I'm giving it some additional clarity by listing these with additional bullets to keep it, hey, this one, then this one, then this one. All right, be organized. Summarizes the soldier's contributions at a high level by using language focusing on the soldier's attributes and general contributions rather than anything overly specific, which is what it was doing. <laughs> Matches the same summary style as the citation narrative examples. Do what I've showed you. Uh, three and is approximately 900 characters in length. We'll see how it does there. Finally, this is the question that I always ask of any prompt if I want it to work well. Think step by step to execute this assignment and ask any questions you have before starting. 
And so here's the prompt one more time all together. Don't feel like you got to pause your screen or copy from here. The Google Doc that I showed you at the beginning of the video, along with the slides, both included linked below. Um, so grab those if you would like those from the description. Uh, you don't have to pause your screen. I include any docs that I use in these videos are always generally linked below. All right, so here is the questions that it may have for me relative to the prompt that I gave it. Thank you for the clear instructions of a few questions. Should I use a soldier's name and specific unit details when writing the achievement citation narratives or keep them anonymized like the example? So one, use Staff Sergeant Han Solo and the correct unit, second of the 147th GS Battalion not company A, 1-137, aviation. Glad he asked. Two, should I use, should each one focus on a different achievement from the soldier's specific achievement or can there be some overlap between the paragraphs? Absolutely, there can be some overlap. Great question. Two, overlap, okay. When writing the citation narrative, should I include the soldier's rank, name, and unit at the beginning, like in the examples? Absolutely. Great question, Claude. Are there any other specific details from AR that I did uh, for the regulation that I should keep in mind when writing these narratives? No. Go. Achievement narrative number one. You can read as it's as it's uh, printing or generating. Um, really good, really good narrative comments. Great job synthesizing uh, and providing the transitions and expositions for you, and even put it all caps uh, the citation. I don't know why we do that. <clears throat> Got the right unit. Summarize at a high level. We have met with success. All right, I'm going to read one of these just for fun. Let's see what it says here. Selected as one of the only 12 NCO facilitators from across the Army to compete. I didn't put that in there. From across the Army. Uh, for the basic leader course facilitator of the year, Staff Sergeant Han Solo faced a challenging board. Challenging board. It, it gets a little bit um, free with the narrative, and that's okay. Um, these are those transitions and expositions that we didn't have to come up with. Uh, challenging board consisting of five CSMs from the NCO Leadership Center of Excellence. His confidence, military bearing, and ability to provide clear, concise answers impressed the board members and brought credit to the 2nd of the 147th GS Battalion. Man, great job, great job. Uh, this thing is ready for copy-pasting into the uh, award recommendation and sending for approval, because this thing is definitely going to get a thumbs up. All right, why should you care? Why should you learn AI? Learning to prompt AI models in the 2020s, which is right now, is like the typing classes of the 1990s. Now is your chance to learn a skill that is, or using a technology that will soon be ubiquitous. That means everywhere. Don't be like the olds today, the dinosaurs that never learned to type. You cannot miss them. They are the T-Rexes hunched over their keyboards, hunting and pecking, hunting and pecking every single letter. AI is the future, and the future is now. And the time to learn is today. Not because AI will replace humans, but because humans that use AI will replace humans that don't. And the only way to get good at AI is by using AI. Thank you for watching. If this inspired you or has helped you to create a good prompt or anything else, please let me know in the comments down below. I love those so much. Don't forget, lots of link goodness below to include the prompts that I use today. Like, subscribe, and share if this was helpful for you. Share it with somebody else that it might be helpful, might be helpful for. And as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.